Hey, this is Scott Strong, certified trainer from the training farm. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a double chin in Photoshop. As you can tell, we have a pretty pronounced double chin on this image, so we're just going to try to reduce that just a little bit. Keeping in mind that the key to image editing would be subtlety. You're not going to make this woman into a skinny person, so we're just going to do something very subtle here. We're going to go to Filter, Liquify. And that'll bring up a separate window. I just want to zoom in, so I'm going to hit Command Plus or Control Plus on a Windows. And what I want to do first is I want to mask off the areas that I don't want to stretch. So I'm going to use the Freeze Mask tool. I'm just going to brush in this area underneath her chin. If I hit the left bracket on my keyboard, I can make the brush smaller so I can get in close on her chin here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get the Forward Warp tool. And what I'll do is I'll just push her chin in to get rid of the bulge. If I hit the right bracket, that'll make my brush larger. I'm just going to push and pull a little bit until I get a nice straight line going down her chin. When I'm satisfied, I'll just hit OK. And next what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I just want to remove a little bit of that shadow that's in there. So I'm going to grab the Dodge tool. And I want to keep the exposure on it fairly low. I don't want to use it too heavy. I'm just going to paint right in here just a little bit. I'll zoom back out. And if I want to see a before and after, I can use the History palette to set that up. All I have to do, I have the Dodge tool, which is the last tool that I used. If I click up here where the name of the image is, I can do a little bit of a before and after on this image. And there you have it. That's how to remove a double chin in Photoshop.